Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and hope we are all doing well. Welcome to my Gold Rush the Game Let's Play series. So in this series I'm going to task myself to get to tier 3 all up and running and set up with the least amount of loans as possible by summer. So that gives us 10 days. Let's get straight into it and do our best to accomplish what we set out to accomplish. I mean, 10 days should be plenty of time to be able to do it with as least amount of loans as possible, what we shall see. So first things first, we're gonna go straight over to the bank. We're gonna get ourselves a small loan to start off with, just for the initial sort of getting tier one set up, up and running. Just gives us a little bit of a head start. So we'll just pull over to the bank here on the right hand side. Lovely. And let's see how much 2000, three months. We'll try and pay it off as quick as possible. So we're going to lease Old Oddle Parcel to start. As it's free, why not? Seems like the most sensible idea. Alright, let's head over to the equipment shop now. We'll get everything we need for tier one. I have got a tier one tutorial. I'll we'll leave the link in the description down below and I'll pop a card up as well on the top right hand corner. So if you need any more information if I do this a bit too quick, feel free to um to pop and have a look. I'll grab, I'll grab four buckets to start, I reckon. Four buckets to start should be enough. We shall see. So we'll grab extension, the sluice box core. We're going to get the hog pan with the pump. We're going to grab all these lovely I'm gonna grab the small diesel water pump uh, we won't grab the generator yet we won't grab it yet and what else do we need we need some hoses and that is about it I'm going to grab a few more of these. Been a while since I've done tier one, so I can't remember exactly how many I need, but I'll just buy that many in case. Grab over here and grab a filter. That will do. What I also want, if I'm going to have enough money for it, which I don't think I will have enough money for it. So I won't worry about that too much at the moment. Let's see much. Uh, 746. Might have enough. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, I need a big water hose as well, don't I? What about that one? I need a hose to suck up the water, don't I? So uh, we'll grab that one there. Yep, don't show. Not too fussed about that at the moment. Um, yeah, that's ideally what I wanted, but that's going to be the next purchase. Just saves washing the um, the mats by hand, is all. Not to worry. Right, let's get this all loaded up. We'll stop by the fuel station as well and fill our pump up. Do this as quick as possible for you guys. You don't really need four buckets to start with, but I just like to. I like to. Ideally, all you need is um, three. Because all you, with the tier one, all you really need to do is 
do a clean out sort of three times and that gives you enough cash to upgrade to the tier two so it's not it's not that much of a lengthy process to be honest tier one to tier two is pretty quick tier two to th tier three can be a bit of a grind especially if you're not if you're not taking out any loans it can be a bit of a grind but it's not to worry we like a good challenge over here don't want to make things too easy for myself might take a small loan possibly when we get to tier 2 and tier 2 set up just to get the big excavator just because it will speed up the process quite a lot rather than just using the small one but we'll see how we go that's all that loaded up head over to the fuel station now fill up with some fuel back down this way and here we are at the fuel station overshot that a little bit but it doesn't matter too much might fill up the car as well as we've got a little bit of spare cash fill up the pickup saves us doing it at a later date uh, where have you gone there you are should have bought a jerry cam really but we can do that when we go and get the tier 2 stuff so it's not too much of an issue head back this way now over to the claim I really do not like the driving in this game the vehicles do not turn very quickly at all so I know we've got a, a few newcomers to the game as I know a few months ago it was released on console so let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking of the game so far and let me know how far you've got I've got a tier 1 and tier 2 tutorial out um, I am in the process of doing a tier 3 but I thought I would incorporate that into the let's play series So if you're interested in seeing that and seeing my progression then don't hesitate and drop a subscribe so i've just got to come over the hill now and here we are we are at the claim do you know what every time i come here i hit that rock i will never learn my lesson So we're going to start over here with this little patch. Going to get everything set up. Just grab it out as and when. Should have bought the other parts first, but it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, I really, really can't see where I'm going. Drop that there. Grab the extension next. And let's just get rid of the pump first. We'll just pop this over here. There we go. Extensions down. Where'd that filter go? There it is. No. No. Does not want to play ball, does it? Got there eventually. Make sure we pull it on the in. Uh, let's pop it over here in the deep end. Lovely. Get the bucket. 
buckets down here. Don't forget to make sure you fill up the buckets, guys, when you are passing. I've done it a couple of times where I forgot to fill up the buckets and it doesn't really do what you expect it to do. Like there. See? Forgot to fill it up. One of these days I remember, eh? I'll leave a bucket in the truck for now. We don't need three, so it doesn't really matter too much. Pop that on there. Get our pin hose. Straight from the pump. Straight to there. Did that even go on? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Thank you. Get our moss mats in there. Yeah, I was right. You only need four. But I'm sure we'll use them at a later date. So that's tier one all set up and ready to rock and roll. Let's get the pump fired up and let's get digging. Now for the long process of shoveling dirt. So for the tier one, if you haven't seen my tutorial guys, quickest way to get to tier 2 is to grab a loan on the bank to start or oh, find a gold nugget that will do we'll keep that so yeah grab a loan from the bank get all this set up just like I have here and you just want to basically fill the mats up to 100% sort of three times and that should give you enough cash to basically upgrade straight to tier 2. So you can do it fairly quickly. But yeah, each bucket will take all four mats. That's why you only need to start with three. So to save time on this Let's Play guide and this video, I will chuck you all into a time lapse and we'll get as much of this dug up as we can. It can be a bit tedious, so I would time lapse it all for you guys because I know quite a few people find time lapses quite satisfying. At least I do myself. So I will see you shortly guys. Okay guys, so we're at 75%, nearly there. So, curiosity has kind of just gotten the better of me. I'm curious to see if it's worth actually digging all of this bit of land out. I'm gonna see how much money this little patch can make. So if we can go for 10 likes on this video, I'll do a nice sort of video and time lapse of me digging all of this out. And we'll see how much gold it's worth saves you the trouble of doing it yourself so i'll see you when we get to 
100%. Finish off the last 12-20% with a, a short time lapse again. And I'll see you at 100% and we'll do a, a nice clean out. And here we are, a hundred percent on all the mats. So it's time to do our first clean out. So as you can see in the top right, I've got 11 ounces of gold and that's just from the nuggets of digging as well. We'll get a little bit extra out of these mats, but not a massive amount, but we'll clean them out anyway. It's just as simple as grabbing them, wash them in a the bucket, put it back. As simple as that. So you need a, roughly around about $30,000 to comfortably buy all the tier 2 equipment. Um, so obviously after one clean out we've got 11 ounces of gold and it's around about an ounce, an ounce per $1,000. So that's why you only really need to do this or three times. That should give you plenty of cash. So we'll go and fill it up again. Not massive size nuggets, but they're big enough to start with. So guys, I will um, I'll skip straight to the third clean out. We'll get it all cleaned out. We'll head over to um, the shop and we'll buy everything we need for tier two. And we'll get tier two underway and under operational. And it's only been the morning of day one. And we're already pretty close to tier two. So we should be well on target. As I said, the hardest part is going to be tier two to tier three. That does take a while, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can do it with as minimal loads as possible so I will see you once I've finished digging and we've got to the third clean out welcome back everyone and as the sun is setting looking quite beautiful out here so I decided to basically do an extra bucket um, just because I thought I'd be able to have an extra bit of uh, cash for my next plan because I'm aiming to get the magnetite separator and the wavetable as well um, as buying the other equipment for tier 2 just to try and speed up the process um, I'm not going to bother panning these by hand I'm going to wait until I've got the wavetable and the magnetite and try and get it all done in one go um, I did find out something interesting though um, from bucket number 3 at the end of that clean out to bucket 4 I didn't receive any nuggets on my extra bit of digging so I'm not entirely sure it well I'm pretty sure it wasn't worth doing that extra one but that is what it is that's a nice little bit of extra information lesson done so let's head over to the blacksmith now we'll go and uh, smelt our gold and some gold bars and then we will go to the bank and sell it and hopefully we sh should have done it again look hopefully we should have around about 30 grand which should be plenty enough to get what we need for the tier 2 we'll get all the equipment bought and we'll head over back to the claim with all our stuff we need and then what I think would probably be the best thing to do is probably sleep and start fresh in the morning. I think that's going to be the best option. Better turn a diff lock on as we're doing a bit of off-roading. 
It's nice that it's a short little drive. Just cut through here and we'll turn right up here to the blacksmith. The drive isn't too long. So I said tier one to tier two. As you probably know yourself playing the game, it can be quite a bit tedious, but then it wouldn't be a simulation game if it wasn't. That's what the simulation games are all about and that's why we all love them. So, let's smelt this gold. 15, 15 ounces. Ah, uh, yeah, that's because we can only, we've only got 1500 cash. So, we'll just wait for a few minutes and I will see you when the gold bar is ready. Okay, so the gold bar is ready, guys. We'll grab this gold bar, just enter and exit and get going your gold bar. Okay, so let's go and sell this gold bar and then we'll come back and we'll smelt the other gold bar I reckon we'll see how much money we get from this one and then we'll we'll smelt the other gold bar see how much we get overall hopefully we will have um, as I said about 30 grand I reckon so we'll just head over to the bank here and we will sell this gold bar. So yeah, we'll get about 17,000 for that one. So that's nice. And then we should get a nice, probably another 17, maybe another 17. So yeah, we should have about 35, I reckon. About 35,000, which should be plenty. I might take a little shortcut. I might, depending on if I can or not, I might get a small loan to buy the big excavator by the large one just to speed up the process slightly but we will see I'm going to try and do it with as little loans as possible if I remember rightly I think big excavator is about a hundred thousand something like that uh, maybe 75 I know one of them I think the front load is actually a hundred thousand I think the big excavator it's maybe a little bit more, a little less, can't remember exactly, but we will find out soon when we head. We'll head over there on the way back to the claim once I've been to the equipment shop. We'll see how much it's um see how much it's gonna come to. It all depends on what sort of loan I can get as well, to be honest with you. Okay, so we've got our second gold bar. Let's go and sell this and get rid of that. And we'll see how much we've got to play with. We shall see. I mean, it's very difficult to do mining that in the dark, so we might as well do this in the evening time. And maybe we'll get things set up. Maybe we'll, um, we'll wait. I'm not sure why I was going to the mining store. Force a habit more than anything. Better sell this gold bar first, haven't we? Park outside the bank. Bit of lag there. It's okay. So uh, yeah, we'll get about fifteen thousand for that. So we're just gonna have just over thirty thousand. Well, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, let's go over to the store then. We'll buy everything we need. Or the tier two, the mobile wash plant. Forgot to put the handbrake on again. Not a problem at all. So first things first, we're going to buy the mobile wash plant. So that's four and a half. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy an extra one of these. I'm going to buy 
a connector. Try and do this the cheapest way possible. I've got two hoses already. We might need three if we're going to buy them too. So I will grab another one. Uh, trying to think. No, we'll buy another one of these. One, because we're going to have to extend it to the pump. And then, yes, we we'll have one of them. We'll grab one of these as well. Grab a water hose splitter, which would be handy for that. Going to need a fat power cable for the wash plant. Going to need a couple of these for the wave table and the magnetite separator. We're also going to need the magnetite trailer as well. So yes, let's just buy that. Should have enough, we're soon gonna find out. So that's that, we need a generator as well. Need, don't need any more buckets because we've got buckets uh, no I'll buy a couple more buckets actually just in case going to need a couple of extra ones buy a couple of jerry cans and I think that's pretty much going to be about it we I need one pump 3,000 2,000 might have enough might have enough shall we say that's 13,000 so at least that's a 17 for the excavator so we will start loading all this up not really sure where that wants to go but it does not want to sit in there properly does it oh okay Something's not going quite right with my game at the moment. Don't know what. You can stay there. Gonna sit properly? Nope. Nope. It's just gonna sit there. So we'll just leave it there. It's not playing ball, so we'll just leave it. What about I'm gonna move the hose? Can I move the hose? Can I not move the hose? Apparently I can't move the hose and I can't move them. I'm not really sure what's going on with this game, guys. I can't seem to pick many things up and that's just floating in the air. Yeah, just floating. Right, bear with me guys, I'm going to try and sort this slight issue out and I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just had to um, sort of reload the game and it seems to have fixed everything, so that's a bonus. Not sure what was going on there, but whatever was happening was happening. We'll stick the generator at the back as we are going to need to fill it up. it straight to the thing too much stuff in the way that's the problem we'll fit the rest of it in don't worry about that we will fit it all in one way or another it will all fit in split of them but I hadn't so it's fine not an issue get the buckets in and finally the jerry cans which I try and put here we'll make a pit stop fuel station 
Um, first of all, what I'm going to do. Oh, I can't close that now. Try and shove these things forward a little bit. Go on, squeeze in that. There we go, look. Easy peasy. So, we'll get hooked up to this trailer. Uh, we'll go for the wash plant trailer first. Have to make a... Yeah, what we'll do is we will drop the wash plant trailer off. We'll, pick up, we'll um, order the excavator one way past. And then a bit too far there, look. And then we will come back and get the magnetite trailing. We'll fill up then. That will be the way to go. It's probably the best thing to do. So just cut through here. We'll stop at the equipment shop. We'll see how much the excavators are. We will get the small one. That will do for now. Won't take us long to be able to afford the big one anyway, so we should be good. We could rent it, but I don't really want to rent it because it means you have to have the daily income. Which can be a bit hit and miss sometimes. Right, let's transport this over. In fact, we can do the McIntyre trailer as well. We'll do that for the three. For the three thousand. Yeah saves us coming back which means that we we'll have to go back to the fuel station now go back to the fuel station oh it's really horrible to reverse this trailer really horrible to reverse this trailer I'm trying to go back straight and it's just Chucking me to one side. That will do. Look, swing it round. We'll go and fill up these jerry cans and the generator because I need some more fuel in a pump. And that should be us sorted to get everything up and running. So the reason why I wanted the magnetite trailer. Um, get some magnetite is because I want to try and upgrade the blacksmith as much as possible to make the gold worth more and the way you upgrade is via magnetite so plus the magnetite once I've done the upgrades I want you can sell the magnetite for a little bit of extra cash just a little bit of a side bonus really it's quite handy and trying to get to tier 3 as quick as possible we'll need all the help we can get so let's head back to the claim and I think we will sleep and start setting up everything up in the morning well, I suppose I could set everything up in the night time and we can start mining fresh in the morning might be the best thing to do try and um, utilize every hour we can as we're better ourselves in a time limit to get everything done in 10 days bit of loading lag there always good to see let's put a diff lock on driving a bit of off-road see if I can get through the uh the tricky little rock as we head through the, the claim with this trailer not not looking good considering I can't get through the factory with it but it is what it is it did, didn't say my driving was my speciality so that's my excuse when I'm sticking to it
see if we can do this without hitting this rock this time oh yes only just oh, I just hit it with the trailer there oh well we'll try again next time eh? there's the magnetite trailer there as well lovely okay so what way around do I want to put this wash plant we'll put it this way around stick it down here on the flat Just there would be pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, about there should be fine. Yeah. Just, uh, we'll move the truck forward a little bit. There we go. Let's start unloading and getting everything set up. Um, We'll put the wave table over here. Sit nicely. That's it. Uh, we'll put the magnetite set operator over here as well. Just that'll be fine. Lovely. The generator can sit sort of over here out the way. Uh, yellow power cable. Uh, yes, we are going to need. We are going to need a power cable splitter as well, which is a bit of a bummer because we've only got one yellow power cable coming out of this generator. Oh. Saving, saving, saving. Right, we'll put this back here for now. Let's go and get what we need from the shop quickly. So we can either buy another generator now to fill it up or we should be able to get it a power cable splitter as well we'll have a look and see what the shop has to offer i was kind of thinking when i was out while i was at the shop i was like i'm sure there's something i'm forgetting and that was it right there the generators have two blue but only one yellow slot which is a little bit annoying but it's not nothing too mad and drastic. It can be easily fixed. Okay, guys, I was having a bit of an issue there, but it's all sorted now. So we are at the shop. Um, and what was it? I was after. I was after a power splitter, but it looks like we're going to have to find another generator because they don't seem to. Oh, they do. Power splitter. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. So we'll get one of them. I knew that was something I was forgetting. But it's all sorted now. Pop that in there. Let's get back to the claim. And I will see you back over there, guys. So here we are, back at the claim. So now we should have everything we need. We are working long into the night to get this all sorted and set up. Ready to start mining fresh in the morning. So, get the power splitter. We will pop that just here. No. We'll pop that there. Really? I can never seem to do anything nicely. Right. That's that. So get these plugged into here lovely that's already connected to the wave table pop this one over here into the magnetite separator uh, the question is we will plug that into there or we won't plug that into there okay 
uh, we're going to need the other cable here. Uh, no. Thank you very much. That one will go into the mobile wash plant over here. Uh, but we've got here, we've got a thin water hose, which we'll put over here for now. Need uh, that one. Need the connector first. Where's the connector gone? Any idea where the connector's gone? Or have I lost that on my travels? Seem to be losing quite a lot on my travels. So I've got two. That's the that one there. Where did my connector go? Come out, come out wherever you are. Seem to have apparently lost a connector somewhere. Interesting. Okay. So I seem to have lost a connector somewhere. Let's see if it's um dropped underneath the truck for whatever reason. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Sure, I bought a hose connector. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have to pop back to the shop. It looks like I've misplaced my water hose connector somewhere. Not too sure where. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll go and grab another one. Okay, everyone, so I'm back with my hose connector. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought one, but maybe I didn't. Uh, let me know if I'm just going a bit insane in the comments, guys, or whether I did buy one or not. So I'm pretty sure I did. But it is what it is. So we're going to run up over here. What we're going to go do is go back to our little tier one setup. Uh, we're going to just disconnect that, disconnect that. I'm going to grab our pump. I'm going to run our pump over here. To roughly about there. And hopefully, I'm going to connect this one first to the in. Take it this way as far as I can. It should be huh, quite far actually, about there. Good. That's quite ideal. We could probably move, we'll move it down if we need to, but we'll get the hose connector. We'll just pop that on down here. Like so, we'll grab the other one here. So we'll just utilize what we've already got. There's no point in buying extras if we don't need to. So that's the big hose sorted there. And then if we grab this other big hose here, that's uh, there. We'll drop this down here. We'll go next to, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, we'll grab the auto connector. Uh, we'll put that this way around. Like so, no, like, like so, maybe, or not, thank you. So that's that sorted, we'll need our thin hoses, one, two here, 
the wave table and it's a little bit difficult to see around here but we'll just whack that bucket over there for now whack that bucket there for now where did i put this other hose i'm i'm really really 100 percent sure i had two hoses the things keep going missing but that's fine we'll find it in the morning when it's a bit lighter i'll go and grab the other hose from over the tier one not an issue at all so we'll just disconnect it from here thank you we'll wind up the cable take that back over here Tight trailer, and there we go. So, what we're going to need to do first actually is we're going to have to put both buckets on the magnetite trailer and we'll empty them buckets over at tier one first, I think. And we'll get them cleared out and get some gold, and we've got some free buckets. So, that's it, guys. That's uh the mobile wash plant and the tier 2 setup and we are ready to start fresh in the morning it's been an extremely long night so I think I'm gonna head back to the caravan get some sleep and start fresh in the morning so that will be it for this episode guys so make sure you um, like the video if you've enjoyed it so far let me know your thoughts on on the game and sort of the way I'm doing things and if there's anything you would change or do differently feel free to let me know in the comments and um, make sure you subscribe for more gold rush let's play and more tutorials and hints and tips so thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode